Well, howdy, partners. Welcome to the Pattersons. Today we are playing Agree to Disagree, Husband okay. and Wife Juicy Edition. Edition. I feel like they're not like juicy, juicy, like the juicy questions video we did that was way too open. Are we Favorite really doing this? Position. There's a reason I love dogs so much is all of Oh! Is. How often do oh. y'all do the nasty? But there are some in here that are like a little controversial, I feel like. And also, as we were making this, we accidentally wrote disagree. I messed up, so we had to cut the bottom. See, I was nice, I said we. Yeah, that was very sweet of you. Monica accidentally wrote disagree, so then we thought, we'll just make it pretty and cut the bottom off. How this game works is we're gonna pull a question out of here. Um, it's more of a statement, it's not a question. And then we move the cups to agree or disagree. It's as simple as that. Oh yeah. Should I go first or you wanna go first? Wait, so the premise of this game, let's just read through the quick premise of the game. Do you want to explain it? I just did that. Did you? <laughs> did you? I swear I didn't hear a single word of that. How this game works is we're going to pull a question out of here. Um, it's more of a statement, it's not a question. And then we move the cups to agree or disagree. It's as simple as that. Oh yeah. You want to go first? first? Jeez. Monsoon. Here we go. First question. Okay. Breaks in relationships are a good idea. Three, two, one. <laughs> both completely disagree. We both disagree. Well, we don't, I don't strongly disagree because there could be a reason why a break is okay. The majority of times when people go on a break, they're either eventually going to break up or people, I guess, see going on breaks as an excuse to cheat. Yeah. And I don't agree with that. I think if you want to cheat on your partner... Um, don't be with them. <laughs> don't be with them. I put disagree because I don't think it's necessary to not be with each other to know if you want to be with each other. I know that there's the quote, like, you never know what you have until it's gone. But I just think when it comes to, like, a relationship, like, what you were saying, I feel like people look at a break to be like, oh, this is my excuse to go out clubbing and, sh and like, go sleep with somebody else. And then maybe I'll miss my partner and, like, I'll get it out of my system. That's just how I personally look at it. It's different. Some people believe in breaks. That's totally fine. But personally for me, I don't really feel like that's, like, a necessity. Okay, so we agree on the first one. Back to square one. The UK is better than the USA. Two, Three, two, one. one. <laughs> How did I know that we were both gonna pick these answers? I know. The USA is like my home from forever. You know, I grew up here, I love it here. Whereas for you, the UK is that for you. I will agree the USA is better in some ways. I'm British. I'm it's always gonna home. prefer my home, exactly. A hundred percent. I don't want anybody to get that mixed up with the fact that I love living in the USA. Like, I love this life that we've built for each other here. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fair enough. This is a very controversial one. This one says pineapple belongs on pizza. The way you don't go right <laughs> I will Yes, yes, yes. Pineapple I belongs on everything. Pineapple belongs on freaking ice cream. I would like to clarify that I don't even like pineapple by itself. It's one of the only fruits that I don't like. I just think that flavor on pizza, there's no amount of money you can give me to try that. Ooh. What? We got married too young. Ooh. Three, two, one. Strongly disagree. I strongly disagree. I believe in things happen when they should. I believe that everything happens for a reason. If you do, even if you don't know what that reason is yet, one day it will make sense. I think everything worked out exactly the way it was supposed to. I wouldn't have changed a thing. Yeah, I have, the reason I did disagree instead of strongly disagree is because we are still young with mm -hmm. a, a, hopefully a very long, healthy, happy life ahead of us. I don't want it to come across as if I married you for the visa because that's completely <laughs> untrue. And that's why I wasted four years of doing long distance before I proposed to you. And I wanted to make sure that you were a hundred thousand million percent the one for me. I think that was definitely the pressure there of doing long distance, mm -hmm. wasn't there? So I think if we weren't doing long distance, I couldn't say for sure whether I would have been ready or not to propose. I think I probably would have. I think we were ready to, you know, live together and get married and stuff. But yeah, no, I completely disagree with the question. I think we were the perfect age to get married. Yeah. So you should be a strong disagree then. That's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> Guys and girls can be friends. Okay. Three, two, two one. one. Yes, guys and girls can definitely be friends. The reason I don't strongly agree is because some of those friendships can be for naughty reasons. Yeah, I think it really depends on the person. That's exactly what I was trying to say. It yeah. depends on the person. It like, depends you know on the person's people's, history. Yeah, their history is really, really important as well. But if it's like a childhood friend who you've never had any kind of like feelings for, either of you, that's very important. Yeah. I but don't like, see a problem with it. 
I wish there was a it depends line just because like us being married, I would kind of find it strange if one day you're like, hey, I made a new friend, it's this girl, I'm gonna go hang out with her. But like existing friendships existing and friendships purely don't purely platonic friendships is like, yes, yeah, of course they can be friends. As, as long, long as they, they get no along threat. too. Yeah. Like if there was so, like a guy friend of mine that didn't like you, it would be disrespectful of me to hang out with him. As long as the girl that's a friend isn't one of those TikTok girls. The like chill girls? The, the chill girls. <laughs> Sam, remember we were supposed to get married. We were married, I'm <laughs> yeah. so happy for you. It was just a little kiss on New Year's, I it doesn't matter. I love your wife, she's so cute. <laughs> Sam worked harder than Monica. Three, Three two, two, one. one. The reason I'm disagreeing is because I don't agree or disagree. So should I just stay at the line? I'm in the middle. I think we work equally as smart. I wouldn't even say hard, as smart. You work harder in some things and I work harder that's in others. That's why, like, that's why I would stay here. I think we both have our strengths and our weaknesses and we balance each other out with that, so teamwork. <laughs> this kind of goes along with the, what we were talking about before. You can be friends with an ex. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Ooh. <laughs> so the reason I disagree and I don't strongly disagree is it depends on the ex. Okay, so I'm 27 years old. If it was a girl I went to elementary school with- Yeah, that doesn't count. With, like, that's not like an ex, you know okay. what I mean? What about I was, if I was 17 and the relationship lasted two months and then we both mutually called it quits and we were like, this is never gonna I work. I strongly disagree. Really? Because- I'm not friends with any of my exes, <laughs> just to let you guys know. The thing for me is because there was once feelings there, I don't care how long if it was, if it was a month, if it was 10 years, you, had feelings for this person, they had feelings for you, what's to say that that won't come back? Like if you're hanging out with them and you're resurface. seeing their pictures again, you know, you're like, oh shoot, did I make the wrong choice? Like I remember how she was like this to me and like- But don't you think that comes down to your own confidence and security in the relationship? I don't more think than, so. Because that's more to do with trust in your partner, isn't it? But people could so easily fall out of love. So like if you're constantly being reminded of someone I that couldn't. you once had feelings with, like not just you, just like anyone in general, like if you, are constantly being reminded about somebody else that you once were into, you can't say, oh, I would never fall like out of love with you and go back to that. Like, you don't know. Like, yeah. feelings just, you know, your feelings go crazy sometimes. So I just think it's dangerous and I don't think that there's a need for you to talk to someone else that you're already talking to. I agree with that. That's why I disagree with the question. I think I'm just a very easygoing guy. Yeah. Like, if you were friends with one of your exes, I honestly just wouldn't really care. Yeah. And I think that's why I'm not feeling super strong about it, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, I get it. Spending your life with one person is overwhelming. <sighs> Three, two, two one. one. Why do you strongly disagree? Because I think that everybody has their soulmate. And I think once you find them, you shouldn't feel overwhelmed. It should feel like such a bundle of happiness and joy and you can't imagine anything better. I love that. I agree. And that's why I disagree with the question. In my personal situation, but I'm just one person, in my personal situation, I feel like I'm never going to get overwhelmed with you. Like, you're my soulmate, you're my best friend. But the reason I'm not strongly disagreeing is because I know that there's a lot of people in the world that aren't monogamous. So that's why I can't generalize and strongly disagree for everybody when I'm just one person I have my I think, yeah, I think it's point. just your opinion. Yeah, it's different, I guess, with everybody. Yeah. But this is just our opinion. I think I'm thinking too much into You this are. Song. I'm getting really lost with your answers. I'm going to be completely honest. Liking photos of the opposite gender is okay. All right. Three, two, two one. I'm staying in the middle. This is my made up one that's for it depends. Like if you're liking a friend's photo, that's totally okay. However, if you're liking a friend's photo where they're half naked or you're actively looking at Instagram models liking pictures of them in lingerie and bikinis with their butts out, I think that's not only disrespectful to the person you're in a relationship with, but also like by liking a picture like that, you're showing that, oh, I like that yeah. your butt is out. Thank you for this photo. Click like. No, 100%. So I think it, it really depends on the picture, but if it's like a friend's selfie. That's what, that's why I'm agreeing. Yeah. I have a bunch of friends that are girls yeah. that we are both friends with. And like, yeah. you don't care whatsoever if I like their pictures or yeah. like your siblings, for example. Just because it's a female doesn't mean I can't like a picture. A hundred percent. Same with goes with like guys. Obviously, like you said, like if it's like in a flirtatious way or if it's like a random Instagram model you yeah. don't know and stuff like that, then there's cases when it's not okay. Yeah, because liking a picture is showing that you like the photo. What? Sam is a submissive. Three, two, two one. one. Are you in the middle there? 
I'm good. in the middle between yeah. disagree and strongly disagree. So the reason I'm not fully strongly disagreeing is because like, I'm still going to be a gentleman. If we're sitting at the table and you want a glass of water, I'm going to go and get you a glass of water. <laughs> I'm going to open your door, your door in the car. I'm going to pull your chair out of a restaurant. Like, I don't think that's, I don't think that's really being a submissive, but I think that's some people would view it like that. Yeah. I don't think you are, but sometimes you like to be babied. So, you know what? Like, sometimes you want to be the little spoon and stuff. Yeah, so that's you not know? being submissive, I'm just comfy. No, but like, a, a dominant would never allow that, you know what I mean? Sam is a better cook. Three, two, one. The reason I did disagree is because you've only cooked me two different types of meals. And they were amazing. They were amazing, however, I don't know you're cooking enough to be able to judge if it's better than mine. Listen, I make baked beans to perfection. You're heating a pan. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm disagreeing as well. Like you definitely have a larger variety of dishes that you can yeah. make. Yeah, I just don't remember the last time I had one of your meals. So I don't really remember. Flirting with someone is cheating. Three, two, two one. one. I'm agreeing, but I'm not strongly agreeing. I okay. wouldn't say it's like serious cheating. I wouldn't do it, and I think it's disrespectful to your partner. But at the end of the day, it's not that serious. It's not like you're going to sleep with someone else. It's not like you are falling in love with someone else. If you're just having a bit of flirty banter, it's so not a bad thing in my you're, opinion. So it's not a, you don't think, if you went through my DMs and you saw me flirting with a dude, you'd think it's not a bad thing? No, I think it's, you, I agree that I think it's no, cheating. No, you just said it's not a bad thing. No, and not a bad thing in comparison to other forms of cheating. It's not the worst form of cheating. No. I agree. I can agree with that. I just strongly agree because I think the only person you should be flirting with is your partner. Or if you're not dating someone, the person you're trying to pick up or you're into. But to be clear, we're both agreeing with the fact that it's cheating. Yes. You heard that, right? Because I feel like this got so misconstrued that people are going to take it the wrong way. Sam has better style. Three, Three two, two, one. <laughs> I'm gonna move that to slightly disagree because I dress down a lot more than you. Like you're really, I feel like I do. If we wanted to like dress up and stuff, like we're pretty much the same. Like, I, yeah, I was gonna neither say. Neither of us know much about that. I think I our clothes are literally like the same. Just like mine's the girl version, and yours is the guy version. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. That was super, super interesting to do and see. Well, I mean, we both knew what each other's answers were gonna be. Well, there was a few like. things that we disagreed on, actually. It's because, like, we're looking at answers from different contexts. Yeah, That's yeah. That's why. I think I look too logically into <laughs> yeah, stuff. Yeah, I think you just saw I, I think too much. I think too deep into this. This is, like, really down. serious. I'm definitely more logical and you're definitely more emotional about stuff, and I think yeah. that actually reflects in this video. <laughs> yeah, it does. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and let us know if you wanted to do a part two, because that was super interesting. That was fun. And if you do want us to do a part two, then make sure to comment down below and let us know know what you want us to answer. Make sure to subscribe, click the notification bell, and we will see you in the next video. We'll see you very, very soon. Bye. Bye.